Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, what we're going to be teaching you is how to weld with a 3D pen. Alright, so in my last video, um, we did a tutorial. Um, not really, a, sorry, not a tutorial, a review of this 3D pen. It's by Canbor. Um, I think it's just rebranded because I've seen pens like this with different names. So they just put a different name up here, but it's, it's essentially the same thing. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to weld um, some of the seams in this chest armor for the Tetsuya Nomura Batman that I'm building. And um, I've gotten uh, gotten the hang of it. It's really simple. There's not much to it. That's why it, took, it, it wasn't very long until I, you know, kind of mastered it a little bit. So. Um, let's go ahead and go through that. I'll teach you my techniques for doing it. Again, it's really, really simple. So let's get right to it. Okay, so the key here is um, we're basically, what we're going to be doing is basically just filling in this seam right here. It's a pretty big gap. We're just going to fill in this seam right here with plastic. Now, what I've done before is I've overfilled it until it's spewing out, and then I just took these cutters and I put it flush against here and I, I would clip this way but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing something different now what I've done is in the back is I have this tape right that it's it's um, kind of sealing the back side so that it doesn't spill out when I put it in to uh, put the plastic in so that's good so that the plastic stays in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill it in until right before it starts spewing out. All I want is to fill in that seam with some sort of plastic all the way down. The reason being is I still have to post process this and I'm still gonna put um, fiberglass resin on this and the fiberglass resin is gonna go fill in the rest of that gap. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. It's really not much to it. So, you're just going to take it, your 3D pen, and you're just going to go right inside there. If it starts feeding. <laughs> ah, there you go. That's why. Here we go. If it starts spewing out, that's okay. You can always sand down. I try not to and that's it you guys what it does is creates a bond in there so that um, your your glue is stronger now I, I, I do want to mention that I did glue the pieces together first um, reason being there has to be something that's gonna be holding this thing together okay doing just the welding by itself is extremely difficult um, I guess yeah you can tape it and weld it together and do all that stuff but I like to glue it and then do this and then put the fiberglass resin on that way um, it's a much stronger bond and so that's it um, there's nothing else really say hi Nana hi. she's here again all right so anyway that's it that's really all what you do for welding and that's it you guys it's really really simple um, just make sure that the both sides of the gap, when you fill it in with the plastic, that you fill it in completely. You're not just putting a line of plastic down there and nothing's touching. You got to make sure that it's all touching and you fill it in completely so you have that, you basically fill in that little trench. Okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and post process this, start putting the fiberglass resin, start smoothing this thing out. Um, if you guys want, the tutorial vid videos are right here. The playlist for the 3D printed armor. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So here's some videos for you guys. More stuff to watch. Make sure you guys click subscribe. Right here. And I'll see you guys in our Facebook group, 3D Printed Armor. And thanks again for watching.